Hi, Hi sweeties. sweeties! Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Julia Zelg and this is my beautiful wife, Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married for four and a half years oh my now. God, it's oh my God. shocking. It's Time like when you flies. think of it that, that yeah. way. And we decided to open our marriage a while ago and we are ethically non-monogamous. <laughs> <laughs> and people are very curious about it. We've been trying to be a little bit more private for the sake of our relationship. Yeah. But it's almost impossible because we started out being so out there and sharing everything. And, and today we're going to be sharing our experience of this. It's something that a lot of people talk about. Some people have experienced. Some people are curious. Yeah, and we're going to be answering the top questions about our open marriage. So, like, why we decided to do this? What are the rules for us? Yeah, exactly. Who are we dating at the moment? Um, how that's affecting us? Yeah, All that yeah. kind of stuff. So, before we start the video, please subscribe and activate the notifications because we're going to have some really interesting and fun videos coming up. If you want to watch daily vlogs, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and give us a thumbs up, up because, because it really helps, helps the channel. <laughs> Okay, so I think we should start from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Which is why we decided to open our yeah, marriage. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good evening and welcome to Julia Zelg News. We have a very important announcement. This video has been brought to you by Colon Broom. Colon Broom is a natural dietary supplement that helps you get rid of unwanted bloating. I personally get bloating sometimes and it's so annoying because it's painful and uncomfortable. So I've been taking the Cologne Broom for a while now. I've been taking the strawberry flavor because it's delicious. And basically it helps with bloating because the main component is something called Stylium Husk. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. But basically it's a component that helps your gut in a healthy way to get rid of bloating. And it's also very high in fiber, which is very good for your gut and it also keeps you full for longer. Fiber is good. <laughs> Also, Colon Broom is vegan, gluten-free, and sugar-free. It uses a natural sweetener, so it's very low calorie. I can see here, it only has 25 calories per serving. And this is how I've been using this product. About an hour to half an hour before I have a meal, I mix one scoop of Colon Broom with a glass of water, mix it in, drink it, it's super tasty. Then I drink another glass of water and wait half an hour for my meal. Mm. And I mean, it's pink. Who doesn't like a pink drink? <laughs> I'm telling you, pink stuff is always tasty. <laughs> And you do that twice a day and you can really notice the difference. Right now, they have a 65% discount on their website, but you can also use my discount code JuliaZelg for an extra 10% discount. So it's 10% on top of their 65%. So use my code JuliaZelg and the link that is in my video description to get your own colon broom right now. Thank you very much and now I will let you get back to our regular content. Good evening. Okay, so I think we should start from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Which is why we decided to open our yeah, marriage. Why? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, basically, during the pandemic, like a lot of people, we were really struggling as a couple. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. It was a difficult time because we were, like everybody else, stuck at home but we live in a small space. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was getting my master's degree and working full time with social media, all from home while yeah. that was happening. And uh, Eileen was retired. And uh, that kind of like put a bit of a... a stressor. stressor. A, major, a major stressor, yeah. On our yeah, relationship. Yeah. And I, I kept feeling like I had all these things to do, all these responsibilities. And I, I yeah. felt... A bit alone yeah yeah like I needed more moral support and I, I feel like because of that I was always like putting too much pressure on you I think for us what happened was our shortcomings as people and as a couple <clears throat> were just exacerbated by 
the unnatural closeness. You're somebody that, that is very external. You do tons of things. And I realize that I'm, even though I've always known I'm sort of a bit of a homebody, but I also am very social. I couldn't be social. And I think the worst part of our relationship was magnified. So I was getting really stressed yeah. because I was trying to do all these things on my own and I struggle with depression and anxiety. So I was kind of like spiraling down in this depression yeah. thing. And I, you know, tried to unalive a couple of times and all that. So it was, it was a tough time, but also it wasn't fair for me to put that much pressure on Eileen because she's 66 now. She has the right to be retired. She doesn't have to live life on the same pace as me because we, because of the age difference, we are at different stages yeah. of our lives. Yeah. And I think it took us a while to realize that beforehand. Yeah, right. So we kind of hit a breaking point during that time and uh, we had to just make some changes to our relationship so we could still be happy together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we made lots of changes and one day maybe we'll make a video just about that and uh, uh, more about like the, that period of our yeah, lives. The, the logistics of it all. Yeah. yeah, but one of the things that we decided to do was to open our marriage. Yeah, yeah. Because I was craving that extra moral support, really, and... Uh, that has been really helpful because I got that and that allowed me to take the pressure off you and not expect, like, too much. Yeah, I mean, it's sometimes the closest person to you is the one unable to sort of provide. Sometimes you need something from outside. One needs something from outside, outside of whatever, whether marriage or, you know, family or something. Yeah, so, but I'm really happy that you found a way to, you know, and it was fair and, and, you know, reasonable. Okay, so another thing people are curious about is what are the rules? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think that's important. I think a lot Very of people yeah. who are ethically non-monogamous have their own rules that work for them. Yeah, and yeah. That's different for everybody. Yeah. So for us, the main thing is to be very honest with each other about what we're thinking, like who we're dating and what's going on at all times. That's, I think, the core element of what we unearth through the stress was that a desire to be honest with each other. Yes. That is like really, really essential. And it's been the driver to this, you know, these changes we've experienced, which have helped us to continue to be together, which is lovely. And also we are very honest with the people yes. we date, like yeah. about our situation and what we're looking for. Yeah. That's important to no, yeah, we anybody. don't want to hurt it. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to go messing around with other people yeah. just to please ourselves. Yeah. You know? like, like, how was your night? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also, like, if we are ever uncomfortable with anything, we tell each other and we yeah. make changes. Yeah, yeah. And we always put like our love and our marriage first. Yeah, yeah. You know, I will ask her questions, like, you know, to be sure that because I'm not going to interview the the people. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> That's the next part that we interview the other. <laughs> I mean, I'm very protective of Eileen too, so I always ask a lot of questions, and I want to make sure you're yeah, safe. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, protected. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I feel for for numerous reasons. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and if like we've introduced people to each other. Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very open and honest and yeah, happy yeah. like that. Yeah, and sometimes I think they're like. <laughs> These two are <laughs> probably, yeah, everybody will probably think this weird. <laughs> Obviously, one of the questions that would come up with this is, are we dating? Well, which has come up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are we dating other people, right? Yeah. And uh, yes, we are both casually dating. Who's casually? I've never met casually. <laughs> casually. <laughs> We're dating casually. Yeah, this beautiful lady called casually. casually. <laughs> So what has that been like for you? One of the things that has been difficult for me in the length, you know, in the time of our marriage, in the four and a half years, is my hormones are kind of like all over the place. And as you well know, I just haven't had much desire, you know, and that's been a problem, you know, between us. So for me, I just have been looking more for intellectual connections, you know what I mean? I mean, I have a beautiful intellectual connection with you, but in in... Seeking out other people, it's been a little complicated because, 
you know, I'll have to say, just into cuddling, you know, or <laughs> just looking for a nice cuddle with a chat. <laughs> oh, 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 you. No, no, you do, you do. <laughs> so how about you? For me, it has been an interesting journey because I've been exploring my sexuality, which has come as a huge surprise for me. Uh, <laughs> for me, <laughs> but a beautiful one, you know, no judgment yeah. here. I very much identify as a lesbian because I'm 29 and I've only been attracted to women my whole life, but I'm starting to realize that I might be a little more fluid than yeah. I thought I was, yeah. which to me has been a little bit difficult actually because I was always so certain and so black and white about my sexuality that you think that I might be a little more fluid than I thought is strange for me and I'm still figuring things out and uh, to me it's actually even weird to talk about it without yeah. having fully figured it out myself but because well, I've always accepted it really do you know what I mean mm. for yourself I mean I'm not saying you haven't you know that's yeah. fully your journey but sorry go ahead it's okay um but I would feel weird not bringing it up yeah. because I've always been so open about my sexuality online and I've talked about it so much. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I'll keep you updated, but this is where I'm at, just exploring. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's lovely. And, and typically you, you're very hard on yourself. You're really, really hard on yourself. And I really mean that. Like you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I'm glad that there's a part of you that would open up to find this other thing and you know to be brave enough to pursue it but don't beat yourself up about it nothing to apologize for I mean we've sorted out the rules and roles and uh, limits of things so you know for yourself I'm talking about just be easier on yourself you know you, oh you're welcome but you shouldn't you don't have to thank me you know what I mean just you know be who you are you you're know? so supportive I'm gonna cry oh thank don't, you. Cry. Thank don't you cry so much. it's okay it's all right baby <laughs> You're so lovely. This is like the awkwardest hug I've ever seen. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> <Give me that. laughs> You're so cute. Are you okay, Tom? I'm okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you it's sure? hard to talk about. Oh, yeah. it's okay. So another thing that people have been interested in knowing is, are we dating together or separately? Meaning, do we go out on dates, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> We've been dating separately for the moment because we have such different like taste. Yeah. And we are so different too. So sometimes we might both fancy someone, but then that person might not fancy both of us. Or it could be the other way around. Someone might fancy both of us, but we're... Do American people say fancy in that? No. No. The English do. Fancy. But that's okay. Do they, they understand what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, think uh, so. I think they will now. <laughs> if you have, have the hots for someone. Yeah, if you're like sweet on someone. Oh, that sweet sounds like someone. really nice. Attractive. Attractive. Just sweet yeah, on yeah. someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes we're not attracted to the same people or the people who are attracted to are not attracted to both of us because we are so different and yeah, we have different yeah, types. Yeah, yeah, But, so we have an... But if the opportunity presented itself, we would be yeah, open to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, of course, that would probably be somebody's first thought. So are you looking for a third? Yeah. But the thing is, I think what would what, what compelled us to this period of exploration was the quality of each of us turning like away from the other and looking for something to complete. Y yeah. Do you know what I mean? And also more like on an emotional level, to me, it's not too much like of a... Like, we're not... We're just not, looking for titillation. Kind of yeah, thing. yeah, we're not just doing this because we're horny. It's just yeah, right, we, right. It's what yeah. we thought would be better for <laughs> our relationship. <laughs> yes, you're so cute. You're so shy. Sorry. So, yeah, I'm blushing now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we haven't dated together, but we've introduced... Yeah, yeah. ...each other to people, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's kind of a, you know, an interesting road to hoe, isn't it? Mm. To hoe. hoe. <laughs> Oh, is the keyword. All I had to do was look at you, and I knew you were going to say something like that. <laughs> You're so lovely. You really are. So overall, how do you think it's affected our relationship? I think it's been very positive for us because it just brought more lightness and understanding yeah, yeah, yeah. to our relationship and kind of yeah. like renewed 
yeah, our love yeah, for each yeah, other in yeah. a way. And for me, it was good to have all the extra moral support. Yeah, yeah. And I've been putting less pressure on you. When you say moral support, I think you mean emotional support. Yeah. Yeah. Then like, like, well, I mean, it could be the same thing, but I'm just trying to think of it in terms of more specifically what that means has has meant for Emo you. Yeah, emotional. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was what that meant. Yeah. Maybe it's just a language. No, thing. no, no, it's fine. I just, is I'm that just a, being, is no, that I'm, a, I'm just exploring saying, it. No, it's absolutely fine. Moral it it is a saying that exists in English. What, moral sport? Yeah. Oh, very much oh, okay. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was wondering, oh, is that is not that a not, thing? Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and we've just been able to connect more, like, because we've been doing fun things yeah, together yeah. and apart and yeah. it's yeah yeah it's, yeah it's just been good i think and i think the main thing that we took out of it is that we love each other yeah right yeah, yeah. and uh, things might change our yeah. relationship is different now but we love each other yeah, just yeah. as much yeah you're literally like my family i mean you, oh, you are my family, you are my family. <laughs> i mean you'll always be you yeah, know true. and i you know my love for you is forever Oh, for you too. I said that into your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think we covered everything. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments. And, and more to come. More yeah. to come, yeah. Uh, we figured this is something people are curious about, so we'll yeah, talk yeah. more about it if you want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and for being so supportive. Exactly. And have a very, very, very lovely, lovely day. day. Mm.